light. It's really charming to look at the sunset. It's incredibly beautiful. One of the suggestions I'll give for you. <laughs> we just got her favorite tapas looking thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? I'm hoping it's going to be really good because this is the first customers they've had all night, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie got what she wanted. Leslie, explain the dish. Okay. What we have here is some olives, spicy tomatoes, a hell of a lot of prosciutto, some, old, some uh, peppers, probably three or four kinds of cheeses on here. Lula, which is octopus. Where is that? This stuff here. Lula. Octopus. It's really good. Then we've got something here we haven't tried yet. Some sardines. Sardines. Setas, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And two mm -hmm. kinds of bread. Two kinds of bread. Two things. Oh, and this missed. thing, salchicha. Oh, yeah. What is that? I'm sausage. There's like. Kind of a spicier sausage. Yeah, spicier sausage. We have olives. An interesting tomato. Spicy tomato. And then a pretty crazy drink. Yeah, look at this gin and tonic. That's a gin and tonic. It has a cinnamon stick in it. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Cycling in Belgium, up to Holland. Got another, I would say another uh, 15 kilometers until we're in Holland. And there's Leslie. She's not wearing a helmet. How dangerous she is. Oh, there's no danger, huh? <laughs> Just cornfields over here. And we get to take this canal over here. Uh, for the, what do we think it is? It's only 20 kilometers, I think. Yeah. Round trip, it's not too, too far. So, there she is, she's on her cruiser. And here's on the back. <laughs> there we are again. We are just outside of Sluice in uh, Holland. About another kilometer, really cool trail. This big cow is beside us pretty much the whole way. Lots of sheep that Leslie wants to adopt. <laughs> Kinda look like Macy, or act like Macy at least. <laughs> From uh, uh, in Cinque Terre, Italy. It's a steep cliff. Here's a foot, and there's a cliff. It's pretty beautiful. That's how the whole thing has been. Actually, we walked up from the water. We were by the water about an hour ago, so we've been working pretty hard. <coughs> First couple of views when we were doing the uh, hike upward up to here were 
just amazing. They're of the little town that we're staying in. And now we're going over to um, Monte Rose? Monte Rosa. Monte Rosa, yeah. Still on the hike. Just beautiful views everywhere. Here comes Les. We wish we had more water. But yeah, it's a straight cliff right down to the water there. Very pretty. Well, this is what we came for. We hit the summit. Wow. Les is about to hit the summit and then we're gonna look the other way. Les, what do you think? It's pretty. You can finally see the other town. Wow. <laughs> I'll we'll have to look this up on a map, see how this point works, but all the way back that way to the next bit of land, but look at over here. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And that's why Cinque Terre is amazing. That's what you come here for. Sounds of the Cinque Terre. That's what we're naming this video. Almost into Monte Rosa. Monte Rosa. Something like that. Let's see some trains as they go along in the mountains. Beautiful water. The color of this water is just fantastic. And we made it. There's Leslie. Liz, tell us the hike. Give us a recap. There's way more work than we thought, right? There's a lot of stairs and hills. <laughs> and the downhill at the end was hard. You can't even see, from here we can't even see where we were, but it's beautiful though. You can kind of compare this to the view that we had up top, and there's the coastline now. Try to zoom in and get some goodies of the coastline. Okay, back at the trail, round two, from um, the city that's go this way, Monte Rosa to uh, Bern Bernaza, which is going to be um, the only part of this trail that's open, I guess. This is just like the easiest trail compared to what we did earlier. <laughs> we're already halfway through. First one we thought we were gonna die for a little bit. Okay. Here's the trail you can see. I think we're coming up on a really nice view here. And I mean, as if this isn't a bad view. Yes, the lookout point. So I was thinking. Ooh, a sandwich would be good. All right, let's see if we can get a good look out here. Nothing compares quite to what we had seen before, but there's the city that we're hiking from. Over there. Day two. Leslie's at it again, flying along these trails. This one's a lot of switchback. Got a big cliff right here. And then, and then what town are we going to, Les? Monarola. I always forget to ask and I forget every time. Wow, look at, look at these steps. Straight down. Pay attention, Liz. Don't slip on your bum bum. <laughs> All right. Liz, what towns are we going to and from? We're going from Monarola to Corniglia. Corniglia. And uh, we just had some really good, um, some pictures of some nice cliff jumping going on. Really pretty town. We didn't expect it because it was really quiet. Um, but you went down to the water and it was, people were bustling about. 
see if we can get a nice view right here. Very pretty. Here's the trail we're on. And going up and around. Nice steep, steep cliff. You gotta be careful. Know where your feet are going. I know I'm taking a video, but I'm not watching the video that much. I promise. All right. And we are up on the other side of the town that we're in. Coming back on over. We're hoping that we don't have to summit another one of these guys because it's uh, pretty difficult. The uh, flat ground is really, really nice. <laughs> okay, so we made it up to the top. There is that last place that I was showing you. What's it called, Les? Monarola. And we are this far away now. <laughs> there are boats out there. There's Monarola. This has been the easiest part of the path yet, so don't believe that this is all that we've been walking and we're sweating this much because of it. This is the easy stuff. Pretty cool though. We got vineyards all around us. Leslie's eating a couple grapes. Don't don't tell the locals. Yes, they're, they're little and sour. Here's, here's some grapes. There's some grapes there. So, yeah, they're little and sour, I guess. Maybe that's what they use to make wine. Leslie's picking more grapes. Oh, oh she likes it. <laughs> Hold on, Les. I'm gonna go out to this lookout real quick. You don't want to trip out here, because uh, that's what you get if you trip. You go right down to the ocean. Maybe a tree would catch you. Okay. We made it back to Bernaza. There's Les, and here's the view. It's great. Okay, this is another hiking trail. This one is in Switzerland, in the Alps, Lugano. I can remember these names better, I think. Here's Les. She thinks this is too easy. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at this. This looks like uh, fjords, almost. <laughs> See what, what? See what the fjords look like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not knowing what fjords look like, this looks exactly like them. <laughs> Mountain of San, uh, whatever. I have to mess up a name every video. <laughs> it's a 360 view. The church on the top, actually. And um, it's 360 view. Now there's other people down here. Don't let them confuse you. They rode the tram. Here's Les. She made it. And then this way, this is north. And this is uh, this is Lugano would be um, in this area. I can actually let's see if I can get in on the train station. The train station, the very center of the map. That's where we're staying. So that's where we hiked from this morning. It's about two hours. But very very good. Okay, so we just made it from uh, the uh, San whatever mountain area. And now we're in a little town called Corona. That's where we were. That's where I was taking the video. And there's the church actually. Um, we're south of everything right now. You can see just beautiful. Um, kind of right through that mountain is where we started on the other side. Um, and now we're on a road in Corona. And we're going to the very South Peninsula area of Switzerland, I believe. It's pretty close to the border, if not on the border, so. Okay. We now are back down to the bottom, going to the town uh, Morcote. 
and um, this would be like the everybody these are everybody's lake places that boats and um, kind of like heaven cabin except you're on Lake Lugano Les, Les is still alive as you can see his video evidence <laughs> um, mountain right here that that's the one we walked over it's pretty awesome as you can see it's just uh, more mountains and lakes <laughs> 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 Come on! Come on! Oh, this one's taking place. <laughs> Come here! That was pretty spectacular. They all have bells on. They're, they're very curious. Yeah. All right. Is Raining today. Oh, it's actually just misting. <laughs> God. <laughs> um. Yeah. We're getting up there. Hiking alongside this little waterfall. It's very pretty. And there's. Camera's not lying. It's just misty. The whole thing. Cloudy. Looks like a ski hill. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, sure. Abend. Abendberg. Abendberg. Been right beside this waterfall the whole time. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's having fun. She likes her jacket. <laughs> it works really well. Made it to the top. Not gonna look behind us because we're not quite to the top actually, but we've done enough where it's really wet. <laughs> we have the whole horde of birds. <laughs> Let's get into the duck though. I'm in the duck our best buds. on the waterfall and Leslie it's on the hike pretty pretty views Lot pizza it's like a lake walk hold on I'm gonna get a good shot for the camera here with this big tree <laughs> okay, so we are cooking calamari fresh, fresh from the market that we just went to down the street. Leslie's finding herself a big one. 
but she's gonna show you how to do it. All right, there, there's the guy. So, Liz, do you wanna walk us through it? Yeah, first we take out the feeler tentacle, that's the long one. Then we go find the part where the top's attached to the bottom. Go slow real quick, let's, let's see what you're doing. Break it. Yep. Pull it out. Then, squeeze out all the poop, or the ink. Okay, then we find its little feather bone. That's its backbone. It's a piece of cartilage that runs on the inside of the guy. It just feels like a little vein or something. You wanna give it a rinse first? These are pretty little calamari, so they're sometimes kind of tough to find. There it is. There it is, so it's a little piece of cartilage. Wash this little thing out. And cut that open later. And we're gonna cut just below the eye. Just below the eye. Ooh, the ink. And There's then some brains. you take out the little The last thing is you get beak. the beak out in the mouth of the creature. There you go. Rinse that one. We'll do it in the thing all together, the collar. Okay. All right, that's it. Mmm, gonna be tasty. We have uh, we have calamari and tuna for lunch. Should be delish. And potatoes, of course. We have uh, a tuna fillet. We had a pound of tuna. It's fantastic. Or no, we did a half pound of tuna. We're gonna have a pound of calamari. Self clean. Self clean, fully cleaned. They're delicious. And then we have some potatoes, tomatoes as our vegetable, <laughs> and um, so good. Do so a barefoot contessa. Mmm. Mmm. That is just so flavorful. Mmm. <laughs> You gotta give it more gas and then it'll start going. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you almost went off road. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And we got a baguette and smoothie vodka. <laughs> There's still another three hours left to go on the race. It started uh, uh, an hour and a half ago. So I think this will continue to fill up. Good time, drinking some coffee, walking along the canals. Really nice little bike lanes everywhere here, which is pretty cool. These canals run all through the city. It's a cool little town. It doesn't feel that big, it's really quiet, you've noticed, compared to um, Paris, which is where we're coming from. That's a nice change. We're gonna find some french fries. They're known for their french fries, kind of like the Belgians. At the zoo in Cologne, uh, Germany. With our free tickets. Found on the ground. Found on the ground. <laughs> and here's Les. <laughs> she was instrumental in finding the first ticket. <laughs> pretty cool. We got some tigers, some bears. Oh my. This zoo is pretty cool. We are with all of these birds right now. Leslie just took us through some German writing with a red X. And it looked like it was do not enter. And that's being really brave. And I'm being really brave because birds are terrible. Yeah, we don't know if the door is Do not enter or something else. But or like birds. secure tiger zone. Oh, walk up to them. <laughs> oh, this one's even more mad. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know. We should walk down there. Oh, we have to walk all the way up there. Yeah. I don't know. Leslie, how are your feet doing? My feet are fine. It's okay. These mold skin on those feet. <laughs> and Mark, what yeah, do you guys hello. think? Hello. <laughs> cool. Hello to each other later on. Beautiful, beautiful views, huh? Would Matt like to be in it? I, I'm never in the videos. I'm just the cameraman. Occasionally, yeah. Hey, man. Say hello. hello. Where's <laughs> Leslie? <laughs> there she is, Where's Leslie. There you go. Hello, <laughs> ladies. Looking lovely in the wind. <laughs> I like this because we're so far forward. You guys are on video. You look great. <laughs> And we are camping for the second time, this time in Balstrand on Norway. And we're coming from Bergen, there's Leslie. She got a shower at this really great campsite. And you can see the backdrop here. It's beautiful. We're in the fjords. And uh, in front of us is a view of a camper, but let's see if we can get a nice view. These fjords, they go on and on and on and on. I'm really glad we didn't hit you. 
A bit cold, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Walked all the way from over there. Where? All right, Leslie, you're starting this beautiful video off. Oh. It's a little bit chilly. Oh, Amazing falls that we uh, were driving by. They are enormous. Okay, we are at the top of Bergen. And in March, this is the top of the uh, funicular, except we did the, um, the hike, and we're kind of on the other side now. Really nice, easy hike and good views. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say fjord views. That's pretty, pretty not, not fjord pretty. views, but very cool views. Quite a big city, a city that really doesn't do much except for hang out at the top here and maybe has one beer a year. Great for yourself. All right, we are at Tivoli Gardens. Copenhagen. That took me a second to remember where we are. And CeeLo Green is playing tonight. The place is pretty packed actually. wound up in London. One of the last stops on our travels, there's Leslie with her pack. Look at that. She just wears that pack like a real trooper. Doesn't even weigh anything on her. And we have uh, we have the statue in front of um, the Buckingham Palace. I believe it's a palace. I don't know. We saw the changing of the guards. Or the guards at least, not the changing of them. The palace is behind us here. Then we have Green Park. Hi! <laughs> right over here. And okay, we'll get a little bit better view of the palace real quick. Beautiful day in London. There's the 
there's the palace, I believe, or something. We are in Hyde Park in London. There's the lovely Leslie. We are now seven days left of the trip. And uh, having a drink in the big park. Got a cider beer, of course, because that's what you do in uh, London. Cellar Artois, it's delicious. And yeah, it's a beautiful night. Two hours ago, 6 a.m., an overnight bus from London. And uh, we're really tired because you don't sleep on those buses as much as you'd like to imagine that you're going to get a free night stay because you're doing an overnight bus where you sleep. You don't sleep at all in here, tired Leslie, but she always looks good. Oh, she woke up. There she is. <laughs> And uh, we couldn't find a place to stay tonight. We thought we were going to be camping until we realized that it was really cold. And um, Leslie ended up making the executive decision that we would spend 60 more dollars. I couldn't stomach that we were going to have to spend 60 more dollars between the two of us for our hostel tonight. And uh, she said, we're going to do it instead of camping and being freezing cold. So this is a really cool city. I'm excited to be here. Last time I was here was with Brandon, my brother, about four years ago. And we went to watch the World Cup game here between England and the United States, and we tied. But a uh, really cool city because there's all these really old buildings that um, that are built on this hill. All these really old bars and pubs. And um, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get plenty of pictures here. I really like this place and Leslie's going to really like it too. Alright, 